halfway through. Hey guys, it's Steve from the Effort Heater Review, episodes one to four of Safe, a British, French, American crime drama from the author Harlan Coben. It is a co production with Canal Plus and Netflix, so not a Netflix original in its truest form. Stars Michael C. Hall, which you know from Dexter, Amanda Abington, which you've probably seen in shows like Sherlock and other BBC dramas. And so this is essentially a story about Michael C. Hall trying to raise his daughter. A year after his wife died, his daughter goes to a party with her boyfriend and does not come back. And so Michael C. Hall is trying to find her with the help of Amanda's character, Sophie, who is a detective. And that's pretty much our show. We have like a season one of Broadchurch with a prisoner's type of thing. They live in a gated community. That's why it's called safe, but it's actually not safe because people's dirty, dirty secrets are ruining everything for everybody. And so from episodes one to four, we get snippets of a lot of people's backstories, a lot of the secrets that are coming to light about the people in there, more investigative stuff, and we are almost close, I think, to maybe finding Jenny. I also don't want to spoil it for you. I will spoil it when I do the full wrap-up. So right off the bat, I enjoy Michael C. Hall's character. I haven't seen him in a lot of stuff, uh, at least after Dexter. It is nice that he's kind of back and doing some acting, and he's actually really good in this. He also has an accent that threw me off, which kind of reminds me of Paul Bettany's voice. So that threw me off in the beginning, but now I'm having a tough time remembering what, remembering what he sounded like before in Dexter. So pretty interesting. And Amanda Abington is always great in everything she does. I love her to pieces and every time I see her I am just so so happy. She plays Sophie the detective, very intelligent lady, very strong and she's dealing with her own personal stuff with her kids and her ex-husband as well as all the other characters. So again we have a situation where a man is trying to find his daughter but at the same time in the process of that and the people involved in it secrets of other people's lives in this gated community are making things less safe for everybody and all the other characters that play these roles are doing really good there's some there's a really good supporting cast here also the pacing of the show is pretty cool i enjoy that every episode is a day so we're at episode four we're at day four of what is happening of, of the search for jenny and i also really appreciate the fact that this is rolling out at least for me on netflix one a week I'm tired of binging stuff. I am over binging. I cannot do it anymore. I do have a day job. I do have a side job and I have this. So binging is not conducive to my lifestyle anymore. Also, my fiance will kill me if I continue doing it. So this is right up my alley in how I can consume my content. Negatives. Up until now, um, I don't feel the actual weight of the situation. I mean, I am presented a very harrowing and awful situation of a man losing his daughter. Also, other things that happen to other parents and their kids and stuff. Don't get me wrong, that is heavy, heavy stuff. But as someone who's not a parent who cannot inherently feel or get that, it's having a tough time getting that across to me in this show. It almost seems too light for what's going on. Prisoners, however, destroyed me. Again, not a parent, but Hugh Jackman in that I felt everything. I felt depressed. I felt gutted. I felt everything you can possibly feel from a, a parent losing his daughter. And so that would probably be my biggest criticism. Because of that, I'm just kind of watching it like, okay, this situation's happening, this situation's happening. But they do do it in a kind of a different way as well than a prisoner's. Um, there are shades of what's to come or shades of the investigation that kind of lead you to an idea that, okay, maybe things are okay. Then they do something else and they screw everything up and you feel like, oh, this could really go bad real quick. They do focus on a specific character who you think is the one who did it only to show us after that it wasn't them and they kind of just clean it up. I'm not going to say exactly what it is. You'll see it. And I think about the second or th second episode where, you know, somebody does something and even after, you're still going to question it because of just being a person and how heavy the situation is. And some characters just kind of popping in makes it feel very more serialized as opposed to very realized. In Broadchurch Season 1, the way things that were introduced was very well done. It was paced very well. I enjoyed the hell out of it and it crushed my soul. In this one, it just kind of seems like, okay, now here's something new. Now here's something new. Now here's something it's, it's not something that takes you out of it completely, but it is something that I noticed. Overall, not bad so far. I am still intrigued. I cannot wait 
for next week. I want to see how this progresses. I'm enjoying the way that this is going so far. A couple of things aside. So safe episodes one to four. Have you seen it so far? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Are you still intrigued? Are you excited for more? Do you like this format? Or are you still like, I want to binge my stuff as soon as possible, as quickly as possible? You can find me on Twitter at the F4G. You can email us at the F4 podcast at gmail.com. Make sure you're following Entertain Facts on Instagram. We're also on Apple Podcasts, Anchor, Radio Tune, and Pocket Casks, I think. Now, the issue with some of them, if you've seen, it just has a purple image with our name, the F word. I don't know why that is, because on other stuff, it doesn't have that. So I'm trying to figure that out. But we have audio content there of our live show and deep dive episodes. Episodes. So I'll catch you in about four weeks unless I do another review in between this. And until next time, I'm G and I am out.